Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Ron's computer videos. Uh, while you were asleep last night, an amazing thing happened. Our good buddy, uh, I, you know what? I, I'm based on where he's from. I'm gonna say it's uh, it's Kebu, Kebu Hong Kong. Uh, so or 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 is it Kebu? I, I who can say? Uh, super nice guy though. Uh, really active on the development on the W drive. But here's here's uh, here's what occurred. Um, there is a new firmware that he's kind of teased a couple times uh, over the last couple of weeks where um, now there is a, a little component that you can add to your W drive that will give you an on-screen menu. So that way that uh, if you want to very quickly kind of uh, change games and stuff and not use the physical controls on the front of the W drive, uh, you can now kind of do it through software. So according to the instructions here, um, all you have to do is you go out to uh, 4EM's site and you download, there is a, a boot disk image uh, that we're going to download that and we're going to rename it and we're going to put it at the root directory of the uh, W drive. Then there is uh, some basic instructions that just basically says, um, you know, when you boot, uh, it'll boot that image and then from there you can go ahead and uh, use the on-screen display and I think it says you hit control A to go ahead and launch the image. It's on here somewhere, I promise. So let's go ahead and let's update the firmware on our W drive and then let's turn around and test this out. All right, it's standard procedure on updating the firmware on the W drive. We're gonna go ahead and you, uh, you press uh, left and select the two buttons over here. Um, I've already prepared my SD card. So let's power it on and it'll say release key. And at that point, I can release a key. It'll go ahead and it'll load the image. And uh, and now we're saying that we have a uh, firmware uh, 1.0 B2. So that's cool. All right, I've gone ahead and I've got the everything prepared on the drive. And I've got that SD card uh, prepared with the uh, boot image that... Um, uh, Kebu said that uh, should go ahead and be on here, but I don't have anything selected. It's all reset. It's kind of just in a, in a null state. So let's see what happens when you go ahead and you boot the machine. All right. Hey, look at that. Look at this cool little boot menu. And yeah, that's absolutely the stuff that's on my... Um, It's on my SD card. That's way cool. So let's see, I can go in and there's total replay. There's also a, a 604 install and that's a, uh, I think that's the live install for 604. Um, so let's, uh, let's load something. Total replay, that seems to be the way to go. Everybody loves total replay, here we go. There you go, 128K and a joystick. That's everything. Well, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little upgrade. Um, I, I would say that, especially for people that are gonna make videos and stuff like that, um, it stops you from fumbling off screen with uh, the physical buttons. Plus now, oh my golly, I can, uh, I can go ahead and set it where it looks like my little uh, three and a half inch drive. I don't have to look at the, L the little LCD anymore. Oh, uh, anyway, hey, so thanks. That was a that's a cool gift. It's it's a it's a pre Thanksgiving miracle. All right, everybody, have a great Saturday. Apple II forever.